Hey Tootie. Say hey Tootie. Look, babe. Look. Right here. Look. Say hey Tootie. Say hey. He fucking that shit up. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Stop, y'all. Y'all are being mean. Eat, 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 eat. Ugly. <laughs>
Sony and other manufacturers. We've watched hundreds of hours of content on them and picked a few of our favorites. We've listed everything from the best bu budget TV to the absolute best set you can buy and a few excellent choices in between. All right. I didn't understand that. Oh, yeah, I did not understand that at all. But until we be, uh, but now it is time for us to go into break time. So enjoy these little weird videos. The first one's gonna be my, my nephew, and the other one's gonna be like random TikTok videos, puppy videos, whatever. Just enjoy them. I'll be right back. The 10 Best TVs and Helpful Buying Tips From LCDs to Fancy OLED Models Thought that was my key From LCDs to Fancy OLED Models these are our favorite televisions at every price point. Save enough for a new screen to help you navigate the dozens of seemingly identical TV models from Samsung, LG, Vizio, TLC, Sony, and other manufacturers. We've watched hundreds of hours of content on them and picked a few of our favorites. We've listed everything from the best budget TV to the absolute best set you can buy and a few excellent choices in between. Hope you guys are reading that because it was on the screen. So, blah, blah, blah. Get it. So, now, instead of reading, I'm going to give you guys like a little, you know, a little point or something like this. I'm going to go to my favorite news channel, WAFB. Uh, and they probably have some news on there that I don't really know. Hmm, let's see what we're going to do. 11 minutes. I want a short video. I don't want to go overboard. Nine minutes. Um, Therapy Thursday. Um, show you guys. Can you guys see that? I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to screen record it. Then I'm going to show you guys. That way you won't have to. You can see them more better and easier or whatever. So that's what I'm going to do. screen record this. And then you guys will see it up there. Now do you screen record this again? I have to add the thing on there. How do you do this again? Control center. That I screen recording. All right, so let me screen record this. Just 
So basically, I'm screen recording it right now. I'm going to show you all. That way you all can see it more easily. I believe we're on the YouTube sphere now. Just the tubes? Yes. For a little uh, therapy Thursday? Exclusive therapy Exclusive. Thursday. Yeah. And today is all about fun. We're yeah. talking about happy things to look forward to. True therapy? Yes. True therapy. True we need a couch. therapy. We do. There's like a, a colorful one. It's like a weird A ottoman. wooden stool or a. What's that ottoman over there? You can sit down on that thing? That might work. They might see the top of your head, the tippy top. We'll work on the couch. The worst part. Well. Um, so, yeah, we wanted to kind of dedicate this therapy there to. To just some stuff that we're looking forward to because yeah live after five is coming back we talked this morning about a, a parade, a preview parade. Of the first one to roll in yes. new orleans since the pandemic is happening in yeah, October. I'm yeah have you heard of the show you guys right now this is exciting so this it's gonna be a big rollout the mayor there latoya control On a screen recorder again. That way, well, I have it up on the show already. But while we're doing that, I'm gonna, you know, hmm, I want like a short video on here. I'm gonna do that pretty soon later. I'm, all right, let's keep going. We just read about the best TVs. I hope you guys read about that with me. Now we are finna go into how to stop action movies from blasting your ears off. Easy, put headphones on. If the explosions are too loud, but the dialogue is too quiet, try these simple fixes. When you watch a movie in the theater, it usually sounds great in surround sound. Dialogue is clear and action scenes are appropriately explosive. But when you play the same movie home through your home theater, you might find yourself constantly reaching for the volume remote. Either you can't hear the dialogue at all, or a sudden action scene starts rattling your walls and disturbing your neighbors. If you're finding yourself in this situation frequently, there can be a couple of different causes. One, common issue may be with how your sound system is set up for calibrated. But it can also be due to how the audio was mixed by the people who created it. Below are a few strategies that you can try to improve your movie watching experience without having to keep your finger on the volume button. Special offer for gear readers. Get a one-year subscription to Wired for $5.25% off. This includes unlimited access to Wired.com and I print magazine if you like. Subscriptions help fund the work we do every day. So I'm going to start screen recording this that so we can already have it on the show. Okay, while well, this screen recording, we're going to just sit here. Uh, I want to know if my thing gone. My computer? Okay, we can't just sit here and do nothing. We have to come up with something. Um, I guess I'm going to have to take you guys, I don't know, I don't really know, come on, let's just go for a walk around to, well, hello again, well, hello, come on. I believe we're on the YouTube sphere now, just the tubes, yes, for a little, uh, therapy Thursday, exclusive, <clears throat> so, here I am sitting on this count, I'll get right. I'll get back to you guys once the um the uh WWB thing whatever is done. Mm -mm -mm.
again. Well, hello. I believe we're on the YouTube sphere now. Just the tubes? Yes. For a little uh, Therapy Thursday? Exclusive Therapy Exclusive. Thursday. Yeah. And today is all about fun. We're yeah. talking about happy things to look forward to. True therapy? Yes. True therapy? True. We need a count. Therapy. We do. There's like a, a colorful one. It's like a weird A ottoman. wooden stool or a... What's that ottoman over there? You can sit down on that thing? Mm, that might work. They might see the top of your head, the tippy top. <laughs> we'll work on the couch. The worst part. Well. Um, so, yeah, we wanted to kind of dedicate this therapy there to, to just some stuff that we're looking forward to. Because, yeah, Live After Five is coming back. We talked this morning about a, a parade, an actual parade. The first one to roll in yes. New Orleans since the pandemic is happening in October. Yeah. Have you heard of the crew of Boo Yeah, before? you're right. This is exciting. So this, it's going to be a big rollout. The mayor there, Latoya Cantrell, mm -hmm. says we are good to go. Right. Y'all are safe to go. She's issued the statement saying that she's happy to approve them. They're rolling once again. And when we talk about parades, when we talk about New Orleans, throw me something, mister. We'll oh get a taste gosh. of Mardi Gras, hopefully, on Halloween. So this is uh, October 23rd. Mm -hmm. uh, they're running this thing. It's going to be three miles worth of parade yes. that includes part of the French Quarter, right? Yes, it does. Uh, so they're going to get through there. And it looked like they're going to have a whole bunch of riders, like up like 500 or so. With 16 floats and 16 20 floats. marching crews. So not a small parade, right? Mm -mm, not um, by any means. And you know that this is exciting for business down there that have been missing this. It's exciting for the would-be parade goers yeah. for, uh, in New Orleans or the surrounding area. The ability to get out there and then have this happen and happen successfully. Yeah. Uh, as you mentioned, Latoya Cantrell, the mayor of New Orleans, talked with healthcare leaders down there. They gave their blessing. And, then, uh, and so this is how we're moving forward. And now we get to think about beyond this as well. Nothing guaranteed. No. But you mentioned it. Right. Mardi Gras. Yeah. Could this be indicative of how we're moving forward? Since we are now above that threshold of where we wanted to be vaccine-wise, yeah. we still have a ways to go. There could be more people that could be vaccinated. That means events like this can come back. Right. People riding closely together in floats where it's safe to. People getting together to catch the throws <gasps> along the route. All of these little things to look forward to. We've been talking about when this time comes. Well, it's here yeah, for it New is. Orleans. That's it a really is. big deal. And it's not, you know, when we talk about Mardi Gras, obviously New Orleans is the big draw for mm -hmm. so many folks outside of Louisiana. But when we talk about Mardi Gras here in Louisiana, there's so many places that are a part of it, including Baton Rouge. So the ability to look forward to potentially some parades in Baton Rouge, yeah. uh, parades in, in new roads. Are we going to chase some chickens out of Mamu? I mean, what are, there's all these things all of that them. we've been missing. Um, the potential to come back yeah. if we continue to go in the right direction. We actually saw for the first time this morning, um, we do the, the COVID numbers uh, obviously every day. Just keep you up to date. Yeah. And the entire state of Louisiana, bright red for uh, every parish, all 64 parishes, bright red for a good long time, right? And they seemingly have been for, gosh, a uh, month and a half two months now, just bright red, yeah. every parish, meaning high transmission rate of COVID. For the first time this morning, what we saw in Louisiana was a few parishes that were not bright red. This We've got at seeing. least five of them. And so, you know That's what? That's promising, Matt. I mean, it's everywhere still, obviously. Yeah. yeah. But that is a trend that I think most people will take because we haven't seen it in like two months. So when you talk about being able to go Get out from, yeah. yes, being all red, being yeah. at an extremely high risk to high, that means we're moving in the right direction. Yeah. Yeah. And that means a lot because Louisiana has always been on the White House Coronavirus Task Force list of states yeah. to watch because we've had such high case numbers. We've had a lot of death because of coronavirus complications. So when we talk about these trends going down, when we talk about seeing this map starting to lighten up and get into those colors where you see those moderate and lower yeah. cases of COVID, Impressive. we get things like parades yep. back. We get yep. things like Live After Five back. So we will take every bit of that when it comes to going back to normal, going back to that sense of Louisiana culture, the way of life here that we know to be Mardi Gras. And when it comes to things to do in the Baton Rouge area, this. Live After Five has just, it's, it's become one of those things over the last number of years. Mm -hmm. Just that, that spot to go, good music, and good friendship, and fellowship, and then just enjoying your time. And, and we'll watch the rain. We'll watch the rain. Yeah. We'll, hopefully it'll stave off, that kind of thing will stay away. But to have Live After Five come back, like you mentioned uh, earlier, obviously we had to shut it down with COVID. And then Ida was like, yeah, maybe not right now. Mm. Uh, but to have this come back and to be able to walk out there for those feel-good moments yeah. and be surrounded by that good food, good music, man, it's something. 
You it's asked something. one of the organizers a great question this morning, like, how, what does it mean to be able to do this? How have people been reacting to mm. it? And she says everyone from the people who bring out all the equipment to make it happen, the stage, the sound equipment, the vendors, the restaurant owners, yeah. the gym fit people who provide the activity for the kids. Yeah. Everyone is excited to just get back out there and do what we normally do Friday nights in the fall. Well, hopefully, I mean, whatever it is you're looking forward to doing out there yeah. is, is going to be happening. You know, if, if you, we'd love to hear from you as well, things that you are looking forward to. What we're looking forward to at Live After Five, half a dozen Fridays of good music, mm -hmm. hopefully some good forecast, yes. uh, some good food out there always, but just a, the ability to get out there and, and uh, enjoy it a little bit. We're trying. We certainly are trying. And on top of that, well, on Saturday, huh. we've got an LSU home football game. We kind of do. Another sort of return to normal that means being packed in to a large stadium exactly like that, right. and being able to do the fun things like that. And the reason you're able to do that mm -hmm. is obviously Tiger Stadium, if you're going to get into Tiger Stadium, right. you're going to need to show proof of vaccination or, or proof of a, a negative COVID test 72 hours uh, prior to game day. That's how they're handling it at Tiger Stadium, trying right. to make sure that everybody is good to go. Uh, once you get inside, obviously you can take mask off because you've shown proof of all that. But Tiger Stadium, Saturday night, SEC game, mm -hmm. it's Auburn coming in. Man, that just, that almost feels like normal. That almost feels like fall yeah. in South Louisiana. It feels like it should be. It's amazing. It's hopeful to even be able to have these conversations to say this is happening. Yeah. Not just we look forward to it. Right. It's happening. Yeah. This is all happening. Yeah. And it's because of people doing their part, trying to move forward. Important to note, if you are going anywhere indoors, the mask mandate is still it's in still effect there. for another 28 days. So October 20th is when that will expire, and the right. governor will reconsider what we're doing next. But for the most part, outdoor activities are back. There fall is back. Uh, and actually, we'll get a taste of fall hopefully oh. a little bit next week. A cooling, Here's hoping. I know. Uh, maybe a cooling, dry yeah. spell coming through midweek, like Wednesday-ish, that kind of thing. But we yeah. still got to get through some of the rain. I mean, uh, but look at that. Weekend. But yeah, you can kind of see when it happens. That Wednesday, hopefully Tuesday night into Wednesday morning, and then, you know, we'll see. It looks glorious. Good already. It's glorious. I now. think it is. We were talking about it earlier, uh, the Adam Sandler movie, where you're able to just jump ahead in time. What is it click? What is the name on Is that? it click? Uh, that sounds right. Flip. But dot or... Or I don't know, remote. remote. It's like one word, man. <laughs> Click it. Oh, you know whip what? it. You know no, what? whip it's that roller skating movie. Rip it. Rip it. Rip it. Rip. Hold on. Run, yeah. run, rip it. A, oh. Google. You know, we were talking about that, trying to figure out because it was a, a for, fast forwarding time because we want to fast forward into that Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. I mean, come on. Yeah, it's still going to be in the low 80s, high 70s, but that's Louisiana. Right? Exactly. Well, you just want that with less humidity and maybe some low fall temperatures when you wake up. It's not asking for too much. It is click, by the way. Click. Yeah. 2000, 2006. 2006. I know it's been a minute. Wow. It's been a minute. That's good to know. Well, it is good. To click. Know. <laughs> so in case this comes up in trivia, right. learn from our our, our learning. Well, that too. A learning moment. Matt looked it up, and now you know. Click mm -hmm. is Google. a 2006 flick from Adam Sandler about going to the future and coming back. All right. Um, <laughs> Can we, uh, the people at home probably like, can we jump ahead right now with yeah. all this? Yeah, they're trying. <laughs> we'll end your misery. Don't worry. We'll right. end your misery. So here's the, but it was fun. Uh, the ability to talk about something fun yes. uh, every once in a while. God forbid. That's nice. We hope to do it again next Thursday. Do, yeah, exactly. Let's plan for something nice. I think so. It'll be good. Yeah. Y'all yeah. smile. Try to. I know we got some rain to get through. Yes. All right. In the meantime, have a good one. And tomorrow's Friday. <gasps> we'll see you on WFP Plus tomorrow. That's right. Woo-wee. Well, I hope you all uh, enjoyed that little nine-minute long video, which I did. I don't know. Anyway, guys, I have to filter back on. Ooh, it's still doing. Ooh, not too bright. So let's keep. Okay, so we have a couple more things to talk about before we exit out of today's video. We're going to speak on COVID. So here are the coronavirus, the coronavirus disease and the self-assessment. The symptoms are fever or chills, cough, shortness of breath or difficult breathing, muscle or body aches, new loss of taste or smell, headache, sore throat, congestion or runny nose, nausea or vomiting, and diarrhea. Trouble breathing, persistent pains, or, you know, 
New confusion, inability to wake or stay awake. Pale gray and blue color skin, lips or nail beds, depending on skin tone. Let me keep reading. Infection with the new coronavirus, severe acute respiratory syndrome, coronavirus 2 or SARS-CoV-2 causes coronavirus disease 2019 or COVID-19. The virus that causes COVID-19 spreads easily among people and more continues to be discovered over time about how it spreads. Data has shown that it spreads mainly from person to person among those in c close contact. Within about six feet or two meters, the virus spreads by respiratory droplets released when someone with the virus coughs, sneezes, breathes, sings, or talks. I'm not writing it down because it's too long. These droplets can be inhaled or land in the mouth, rolled, I mean, nose or eyes of a person nearby. In some situations, the COVID-19 virus can spread by a person being exposed to small droplets or as a result that stay in the air for several minutes or hours, called airborne transmission. You can probably see that. It's not yet known how common it is for the virus to spread this way. But it can also spread if a person touches a surface or object with the virus on it and then touches his or her mouth, nose, or running, I mean nose or eyes. But the risk is low. The virus that causes COVID-19 can spread from someone who is infected but has no symptoms, also called asymptomatic. The virus that causes COVID-19 can also spread for someone who is infected but has, hasn't developed symptoms yet, also called presymptomatic. It is it's possible to get reinfected with the virus that causes COVID-19 or to get COVID-19 twice or more, but this is uncommon. The risk factors for COVID-19 appear to include close contact within 6 feet or 2 meters with someone who has COVID-19, been coughed or sneezed on by an infected person. The complications. Although most people with COVID-19 have mild to moderate symptoms, the disease can cause severe medical complications and lead to death in some people. Older adults are people with existing medical conditions are at greater risk of becoming seriously ill with COVID-19. The complications can include pneumonia and trouble breathing, organ failure in several organs, heart problems, a severe lung condition that causes a low amount of oxygen to go through your bloodstream to your organs, acute respiratory distress syndrome, blood clots, extra kidney injury, and additional virus and bacteria infections. The U.S. Food and Drug Administration, FDA, has given emergency use a storerization to, to some COVID-19 vaccines in the U.S. The FDA has approved the Pfizer Biontech COVID-19 vaccine now called Cremonity, I guess, to prevent COVID-19 in people aged 16 and older. A vaccine can prevent you from getting the COVID-19 virus or prevent you from becoming seriously ill if you get the COVID-19 virus. Here's a, not a fun fact, but a important fact. I'm going to write it down. Ooh, you, you know what I mean. Here you go. Right here. Important fact. Get the vaccine. It's really not that hard. Also, if you're fully vaccinated, you can return to many activities you may not have been able to do because of the pandemic, including not wearing a mask or social distancing. Stay six feet, child. Come to me. Except when required by rule or law. However, if you are in an area with a high number of new COVID-19 cases in the last... 
The CDC recommends, recommends when a mask indoors in public and outdoors in crowded areas or when you are in a close contact with unvaccinated people. If you are fully vaccinated and have a condition or are taking medication that weakens your immune system, you may need to keep wearing a mask. All right, I hope you guys had so much fun with us today. Um, next week, next week we're going to be talking about.